little tired, Cappy, here. We're at the, the Marriott in Ann Arbor. And my buddy, Bill Shatner, got me a deal on this. Actually, he did. I'm at, like, some schwanky place that fucking rich people live at. It was like a jacuzzi downstairs. All right, so there's a post on Return of Kings, and I didn't even read through the post because on the front cover picture, it's a bunch of predominantly young college-age girls, a couple gay guys, even though they're not homosexual, holding a sign in France that says, Say No to Terrorism. And they're all holding a candlelit vigil, and then there's a peace sign. Now, see how clever this is, ladies and gentlemen. Instead of the line with the two little, you know, the stark foot, it was the uh, Eiffel Tower. See how clever and witty that was? They, and they made it out of candles. And they're all handing, holding candles because it's a candlelit vigil. I'm trying not to get angry because I'm in a hotel. I don't want to <clears throat> interrupt other guests. Are you fucking kidding me? You fucking... Look, I know, I know the people who do candlelit vigils are, by default, naturally lazy. And you don't want to really actually do anything. But could you spare the rest of us who are actually going to have to work hard and do something to solve whatever problems there are in life that makes you go light a bunch of fucking candles and think that's going to fucking solve the problem? Could you do us a favor and not make us look like a bunch of fucking pussies in the Western world? Right? This is predominantly a Western world thing. Oh, I know. Maybe some people in Turkey did something. I know. Maybe <clears throat> maybe we're exporting our filthy uh, culture and our, our, the, the drawbacks of our culture to other cultures. But for now, this is predominantly a Western thing. And it is... Such a pussy fucking move and a testament to the fact that you're too lazy to do anything real about the job and that you just are okay with this happening and that you think, oh, well, I'll light a candle. And, oh, moments of silence. That's my other favorite. Usually associated with the candlelit vigil is the moment of silence. The person and the people are already dead. They don't hear your moment of silence. They frankly don't care. They want you to go and avenge their death. But that would take effort and there's risk. And by gosh, you got to get your master's in literature before anything else. So you're going to light a fucking candle. Join the military. Okay? Join the cops. Um, do, become, join the anti-terrorism network. Uh, narc on some people. How, I don't know. How about you start voting for your conservative parties and you end immigration? How about that? There's something that you... Could you do that? that vote the other party that doesn't want to kill you? Because the people they're letting in vote for the other team? Could, could you do at least that little bit? Nah, nah, let's light some fucking candles. Anyway, uh, you know, so keep doing your candlelit vigils. Um, God, it's a freaky... It just occurred to me. It, it, I thought prayer was st pretty stupid. Because God, or whoever you pray to, never really answers your prayers. All right? uh, but at least in religions, when you pray... There's a logic or the expectation that you're being heard. And then they'll rationalize where your prayers are answered, but at least you're praying to something that you think or believe in. You fucking, no offense, secular people, because I'm secular myself, with your fucking candles. What the fuck is the point of this ritual? What the fuck is the point of that? That's like the Catholics doing the calisthenics and up and down, kneel down, up, sit, do, jumping jacks, pray, and the incense and the fucking guy with the hat comes in. I mean, you you guys are fucking secular college. You know, you're leftists. You hate religion. What's this? What's this seance? What the fuck is this? Now you'll probably go join the Gaia cult. Anyway, stop doing fucking candlelit vigils. They, they, they don't achieve anything except make us look bad. Well, they, they definitely make you look bad, but it reflects upon us who actually work hard to achieve a better world. Okay? Toodles.